like Superman down the stretch. <laughs> but what happened? I, um, I kind of just stayed confident. Um, I wasn't playing that much. I was coming off the bench. I changed my role. You know, I started to come off the bench. So I just kind of stayed confident. Any opportunity that presented itself, I kind of tried to take full advantage. What did you see on that last shot at regulation? Mm -hmm. uh, just, it's time to win. Uh, it's just time to be clutch. You got to make big plays in the big game. It's an opportunity to score. Coach is talking about your new role coming off the bench. Do you feel more comfortable coming off the bench knowing that to be more aggressive? Um, yeah, I mean, I was kind of being aggressive when I was starting. I kind of just feel like um, it's just a new role for me, and I'm kind of just a team player, so I'm open to any new role, any any way to help the team win. You just said in that you were going to take that shot when when Jonah gets the steal and you're kind of standing there. As okay. soon as he caught it, I just ran and spotted up because I looked I looked for a quick second to see how many points we needed. And as soon as he caught it, I ran to the spot up and just got a shot up. You went to celebrate in front of the students after that. Like, what was that moment like? Trojan family. That's what it's all about. Big, big time crowd, big time game, big time shot. That's what it's all about. Can you talk about just the resiliency y'all show for that? You know, y'all that was down twenty and a half, couldn't be four, then got right. got down eleven again, and then was able to come back. Right. Uh, we have a lot of resiliency. Uh, we had a couple games before we got down uh, by like twenty fifteen, and we we started to give up. We had a little quit. So this game just goes to show that we have a lot of resiliency, and we can do whatever we put our mind to. At any point in time, did you all think? Yeah, of course, you want you know. You want to win? You do all think like, man, this is over. This might be over. Uh, no, it never crossed my mind because after halftime, the speech we got from Coach Infield, it was just it's time to you know change your mindset. It's time to win. It's time to lock in. What did he say? I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> is there any, is there any <laughs> pink stone on the walls? Teddy, is there any pink stone on the walls? Uh, it might be a little okay. bit. You know, yeah, he was getting after us a little bit. Just to change our mentality, we needed it. We needed it. Your guys' energy picked up a lot as the second half progressed. How much of that was due to the defense? You guys were pressing them and getting some turnovers. How much of that fell yeah. on the offensive? That's one hundred percent what it was. Our defense. We kind of just changed our mentality and got after them instead of being laid back. You had that ISO possession at the top of the key like, towards the end of overtime right. too. Like, can you walk us through that? Um, I think the play was called thumb down, and he wanted us to go at a certain time just to run the clock down. And um. I came off of it and I got the switch to the bigger guy and I, I know that any big man to me, six nine and over, their, their feet are slow. So I just kind of kept my pace, changed pace, and keep going to get laid. Yeah. And after you missed that free throw in regulation, you got four big ones. Right, I was kind of hard on myself after that. How did you just shake that miss off and move forward? Um, short memory. Uh, that's all I could really, you know, credit that to. Short memory, just keep playing. In the moment, do you feel like you put a lot of pressure on yourself? I definitely did to make that shot. I definitely did. But afterwards, my teammates kind of helped me calm down and just refocus. That's all. So from this point forward, you know, how do you all just, you know, move forward from here and, and you know, continue to build off this, this win? Because I think first we take this game as, you know, for what it is. Like, it's a big win. So I think we just build on from this, you know, keep these same habits and just continue to develop from better ones, you know, and being consistent. What kind of statement do you think this is to come back against what was the first place team in the conference and now take a share of first place? Man, this is big. Being number one in anything is big. So that's that's what it is. It's big. How long are you live in this moment before you start focusing on next weekend? Uh, probably when the night is over the next day, I'll get back in here and get focused. All right. Thank you. So are you. <laughs> Fine, <laughs> <you're telling us. laughs> I appreciate you coming. <laughs> <laughs> I had confidence in Weaver. He's a very confident player. I'm like, just hope it goes in, hope it goes in. <laughs> and it went in, but it was a great shot. Onyeka, from your perspective, what was the, the huge difference first and second half? Uh, first half, we weren't really playing smart. We weren't playing together. You know, second half, uh, we were in the locker room talking. We just came out really playing with some more heart, some more toughness. How much at halftime, how much was talked about defense and how much was talked about offense? You know, just a team that runs uh, their plays with ex execution. They have shooters, so we were just switching everything, and we are just playing smarter. For either one of you, 36 shot attempts from the free throw line tonight, is that something coach kind of preached, that aggressive mentality? Oh, man, yes, because we work on free throws every day after practice, so being aggressive and getting to the free throw line is what we preach a lot, so yes. Yeah, what was it like watching the end of overtime after you fouled out? 
Uh, I was just on the bench supporting my teammates. You know, I wish I was out there, but you know, I got fouled out. I was just ruining being a cheerleader for them. And it was just good because I had confidence in my team right to win the game. Did you feel like you had to be a little bit more aggressive personally in the second half? It seemed like you kind of picked up that entrance. I mean, yeah, I think we all had the same mindset. You know, we all did play uh, harder, smarter, more tough than this. We were playing soft in the first half. We just came out uh, playing harder. You know, just as a leader, you know, uh, as a freshman, you know, just how, do, how do you feel like you go as a leader, just witnessing the experience of the game like this? Uh, you know, I just look up uh, to my older uh, veterans like Jonah and Nick, you know, I look at what they do and I just learn from that. You know, we're all leaders, honestly, we're all, uh, we're all leaders. Uh, question for both of you. Coming from big time, you guys are majority of the players big time high school program. Uh, how does that prepare you for an atmosphere like this? Um, being a big time player, you normally play in atmospheres. It's such, you know, big game, just always hyped up, big crowd. So um, it's kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't say normal, but we kind of just knew what, you know, we knew what time it was being a big time player. So it's kind of just locking in, taking it to another focus. Well, in my high school situation, you know, I was always under the spotlight, you know, playing the big games all the time. So I was just used to it, you know, I'm not phased uh, with the attention, the big crowds like that. Uh, how, how, how did the crowd play a part, you know, to help you all come back? You know, I know they, they came with a lot of injuries tonight. Uh, the crowd really pumped us up, you know. We got our whole team jumping, got the whole crowd jumping. You know, it was just, just good to see all our fans out there tonight. Two one more. What was your matchup with um, their forward Oscar De Silva like against those uh, big numbers tonight? Uh, <laughs> uh, so, you know, he's a good player, you know, we try to contain him as much as we can, uh, you know, he had a 20 piece, you know, he's a good player, you know, I was doing my best to uh, uh, try to shut him down.